Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving second order linear differential equations which equal some function of x, where the general solution is given by y equals the complementary function plus the particular integral, cf plus pi for short. Now the reason for this particular video is that in the past I've shown you that when f of x equals say a constant our particular integral was of the form of a constant but that's not always the case sometimes there's exceptions to this and this is why I've done this video just to demonstrate the problem so we'll work through this question and uh, we'll, we'll look at that problem when we get to it so first of all we need to work out the complementary function that's when the left hand side equals zero so if we start then by just looking at that part where we need to solve d2y by dx squared minus 4dy by dx equals zero and for this we would build up our auxiliary equation that's where we just replace the d2y by dx squared with m squared and then we have minus 4 and we replace dy by dx with m and this will equal 0. We factorize and we've got m as a common factor and then you've got m minus 4 and that equals 0. So we've got two roots, those roots are m equals 0 or m equals 4. Two real and different roots. So that means that our complementary function, cf then for short, is going to be y equals ae to the power 0x. Well, anything to the power 0 is going to be 1, so we're just going to get a there. And then we've got plus b, e to the power 4x. Now, when it comes to choosing our particular integral now, we would normally have chosen a constant. Okay, let's say we call it lambda, because we had a constant here. But the thing about this particular integral is that we've got a constant here. So we can't have just two exactly the same. So what we do in cases like this is we say lambda x. So our particular integral then is y equals lambda x. And then we proceed as we've generally done in the past. And that is we carry on, we find out what dy by dx is. So from this therefore dy by dx is just going to be equal to lambda. And for d2y by dx squared, if we differentiate this again, it's going to be equal to 0. And if we number this equation, our original equation up here as 1, we can sub these values, sub into 1. Okay. And so what that gives us now is that this term here is 0. Okay. Then we've got minus 4 times dy dx, so we've got minus 4 lambda equals 2. And if we divide both sides by minus 4, lambda equals minus 2 quarters or minus a half. And so that means that therefore our particular integral is essentially lambda x, lambda being minus a half, so it's going to be minus a half x. And so therefore the general solution, we'll just write this in, the general solution is going to be y equals the complementary function, which is a plus b e to the power 4x, a plus b e to the power 4x, plus our particular integral, which is minus a half x. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea then. Just check out when you work out your particular integral, make sure that it's not one of the terms in your complementary function. 
If it is, just put a X, multiply it by X, okay? So uh, there you go. Hope that helps in questions of this type.